Kia ora and welcome to the final virtual assembly of Term 2. We're coming to the end of a super busy school term full of tons of activity around the school, which has been awesome to see. We've had the school ball, many sports games, the dance and exchange, cross country, show quest, year nine camp, peer mentoring, pushing the boundaries and much, much more. This week we'd like to acknowledge exciting things that have been happening recently around the school and the PB, PB4L leaders will also be speaking. First, we'd like to start with some new sporting achievements with CJ. There have been tons of recent achievement among students in both the sporting and performing fields. Last week, some CSU students travelled to Alexandra for the annual Dunstan Exchange, which we won overall six matches to five. Our winning teams were chess, trap shooting, golf, boys and girls basketball and girls rugby. Congratulations to everyone who competed and contributed to this win. Year 9 student Charlie Ford has recently participated at the National Cross Country held in Nelson over the weekend, where he competed against 100 runners and finished 33rd individually, and 6th in the junior team event. Well done Charlie, this was an awesome achievement. We'd also like to acknowledge Brooke Anderson who is continuing her success in the pool. Brooke recently competed in the South Island Secondary School's Swimming Championship. She placed first in the 100 meter freestyle, 100 meter backstroke, and 50 meter freestyle. So huge congratulations to Brooke. A couple of weeks ago, one of our school bands called Black Window competed in the Rock Quest at the Civic Theatre. The band is made up of students Ollie Davis, Oliver White, Deacon Kynan Wild, Sahaj Gamaj, and Justin Tegium. They have successfully made it into the regional finals where they'll play another original song. Awesome work team. And for our last acknowledgement for today, the Central Southland Dance Academy performed at the Impact Dance Competition and finished with, from, with amazing results across the board. All solos and duos and groups qualified for nationals. The results are as follows. Sean Tulabing, first in solo. Keely Anderson Kariti, second in solo. Lily Pickett, third in solo, Sean and Keely fourth in duos, Convict Crew second in intermediate division, Half Light qualified for nationals for the contemporary dance and the Relentless Crew placed first in the senior division and scored the top overall score for the competition. So a huge congratulations to these dancers. Last Friday, a Mufti Day was held to support the endometriosis and the school fund raised approximately $800 for donations. Thank you as well to those who participated and raised money for the 40-hour famine. Both are great causes and it was awesome to see people get involved. We would now like to introduce the hero leaders. Hi everyone. Most of you know we had a hero shop on Monday. We had such a good turnout. Please remember to keep reminding your teachers to stamp your cards and start collecting. We are having another one at the end of next term and we hope to see you all there. During last period on Friday, we hosted a movie screening with treats such as popcorn and chocolate to reward all the people that got a four or above average effort grade in term one. We'll be having more of these rewards in the future, so keep showing the school values. We held a hero job this week and the winners were Ella Colvin, Monique Wood, Neve Patterson, Kenny Hart, and Raf Cowley. We will be delivering these to your form classes hopefully sometime this week. To finish off, a friendly reminder to keep showing our school values of honesty, effort, responsibility, and empathy around the school. See you next term. On the 20th of June, a group of students and teachers travelled to the Civic Theatre to compete in ShowQuest. The theme of our performance was coming home, welcoming home our friends and family stuck out of New Zealand during COVID times. We came second in the open section, qualifying for virtual nationals. We also received the Drama Award and Te Kanga Award. A massive thanks to Mrs Wilkinson, Mr Knapp, Mr Anderson Kennedy, Mrs Kynanwild and our wonderful hair and makeup helpers for helping the day run so smoothly. Thank you for that, Lily. And don't forget, you can catch our 2022 Showcrest performance on the Showcrest NZ YouTube channel or on their website. And that is it for this week's assembly. Thank you everyone for a great first half of the year. We are super excited to see what the rest of the year will bring. From us and the AV crew, enjoy your holidays, be safe, and we will see you in a couple of weeks. Ka kite.